much and uh, that was the subject of this course on uh, today will be transactional trade of course this is a very very fundamental issue uh, when we're talking about our current global system uh, trade of course is the major uh, uh, factor of globalization because the world is linked into each other because of trade P individuals linked to each other because of trade countries linked to each other because of trade. Yeah. So we're going to talk about this in the greater perspective and of course in the small perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Now, to begin with, Doctor, how will you define transactional trade to us, you know, <laughs> in the jurisprudential point of view? Okay. Thank you, Abubakar. Uh, you right men rightly mentioned it. Uh, the trade is a very, very important um, uh, culture or tradition for Islam as a religion, as a civilization. It has contributed very significantly to the growth and rapid development of the Islamic civilization. In fact, if you look at the history of Islam, uh, is the, it used to be the Muslim traders traveling between the, the, the continents of Asia, Europe, and Africa. Uh, uh, yes, it's just, uh, right at the time of uh, you, you exactly the Quraysh mm -hmm. traveling to Sham. Mm -hmm. These are the people who carried Islam with them, and they, and and as a result of the the, the, the the very very good behavior and the responsible behavior that they put to the people that they deal with, they were able to spread Islam to different uh, mm -hmm. countries and continent of this world. And, and also, it, and therefore, it is a very strong tradition of Islam. Um, and uh, you, you, you are right also when it comes to globalization, when it comes to national development, when it comes to national economy, it used to, to play and is still playing a very, very important um, um, role in, in, in the process of nation building. And therefore, Islam uh, views it extremely important to regulate it. It is the, one of the most regulated totally regulated subject of, uh, of, of Islamic law, subject of Islamic law. It's, it's, it's regulated by all aspects. It has to do mainly with, 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 with exchange of goods, exchange of money, you know, exchanging money services. with money, services, good with good, and of course for the purpose of making, making benefit or profit. Um, and, uh, and naturally, you understand, for, for like, you understand for every transaction, uh, for any you know business or any other transaction, mm. uh, uh, the the basic objective is to make some earning, some benefit. Yeah. Islam recognizes this, and it is very important. It's, in fact, it, this is what defines business. Mm. Nobody does business for the sake of just being involved <coughs> in the process and coming out without gaining anything. But uh, in order for uh, you or for the Muslim trader mm. to differentiate between profit, which is lawful earning. Mm and riba or usually which is unlawful earning, in order for him to regulate and differentiate between the two, mm. he or she has to conduct his business in accordance mm. with the teachings of Islam. Every aspect of it is totally re re regulated. Mm. Yes, over oh, Kamel. <laughs> you talked about riba, but uh, my own understanding, there is a very thin line yes. between business and riba. <laughs> Yeah, or profit and riba. Profit and, profit and riba, yeah. <laughs> Yes. You know, it, it is a very important uh, uh, issue you are raising, although I'm sure we'll come back to it. But yeah, you remember, yeah. you remember what, what uh, Al-Quran says, wa ahla Allahu al wa harram riba. Before the advent of uh, Islam, even during this, the early days of Islam, people were saying that, ah, inna mal bayu mm -hmm. riba. Selling and buying, you, you, you buy something, you sell it, you get money out of it. This is riba. So what, 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 do, what do these people mean when they say riba is haram? Al-Quran comes and make it authoritatively clear that there is a clear difference, distinction between riba and profit. And of course, sometimes riba comes, it's not necessarily because, because of the quantity of the, of, the, of the addition or the profit that you get, but because of the way that you add the profit. Or because no, of the, it's the, not the quantity of what you Not have. necessarily, no, not necessarily. Sometimes it is duly, simply because of the way you add. And let me give you an example. Somebody um, um, uh, l l loans you, let's say, five thousand dollars, mm -hmm. which is due for payment in a month time. Let's say end of December, you must pay this this, this uh, loan. Mm -hmm. So by end of December, mm -hmm. you are unable to pay. Now the debtor extends the period for to you, June. give you a grace period to January or to June, provided then you pay six thousand. <laughs> you understand? This six thousand. The, the 1,000 added to 5,000 is riba. It's because of the way it happens. Now, so, suppose the same 5,000, mm. you take it, invest it. Let's say you buy groundnut mm. from this 5,000. Mm. You go and sell it in the market, you get it 6 or 7,000. 
It's the same addition you're okay. getting here. Mm -hmm. But the difference is because of the way that the additions came. Mm -hmm. So here, if an extra 1,000 is being added simply for, the, for a grace period to be given to you because time for payment has come and the debtor cannot you know, um, service the loan. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, and, and like as we will see, as the discussions uh, you know, go deeper, there are some of the commodities that has to be exchanged in a given way. If you do it otherwise, like if there are commodities that has to be exchanged, you know, uh, 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 by exchanging the same quality, whether in the, 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 the same quality or quantity, and also by direct transfer. So if you don't do it by direct transfer, or you don't, or if there's a difference in the quality or the quantity, it leads to the bar. So it is a very delicate and a technically complicated uh, subject. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it does not necessarily have to have to have to be measured with the quantity. Mm -hmm. In most cases, in fact, it happens as a result of, as a result of the way it comes. Okay. Yeah. Allah uh, Allah. Now, uh, in transactional trade yeah. or in in, in business, yeah. you have uh, key drivers. Yes. And you have the major components. Yes. Now, what are these uh, yes. components? Mainly, there are five. Mm -hmm. You have the buyer, mm -hmm. the seller, mm -hmm. the price, mm -hmm. the object of sale, mm -hmm. and the words okay. that are used to constitute, uh, let's say, mm -hmm. a, co a, 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 a sale contract mm -hmm. or to, co or to, uh, to, to, to constitute transactions. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, say, I'm selling this mobile. Sell, using the word sell, mm -hmm. you understand, sell. So that's the language. Oh, I want to buy, mm -hmm. like what, what, we, what we say, offer an acceptance in law. Mm -hmm. Somebody offers to buy or somebody offers to sell. Mm -hmm. You know, the language that we use to indicate that we want to exchange certain mm -hmm. services among ourselves for services. Mm -hmm. So these are the five uh, components, components or the key, the driving uh, elements mm -hmm. that must exist before a, a transaction is constituted in Islamic law. Okay. Yeah, seller first and buyer. Yeah, yeah. okay. Mm. Now we go to the seller. Yes. Uh, when we talk about the seller, yeah. what, what caliber of person are we talking about here? You know, in the, there are four conditions that Islam has attached to, to the, the seller. In fact, it is the seller and the buyer. Mm -hmm. they, they share the same from the condition. One, number one, and most importantly, they must be, they, they must be sane people. In other words, they must not be uh, so no, uh, not necessarily not devious, but they must not be in, uh, in, insane people. In other words, they must uh, be able sane. to yes, sanity. Okay. They mm -hmm. must be able to distinguish what is good for them and what is bad for them. Mm -hmm. Here in Islamic law, maturity is not a condition. An unmature person can be a party to a contract of sale. You understand? Um, an but unmature sanity, person. San sanity is yeah, sanity and maturity are not the same. They are not the same. But, there is, but the, a, a sane person is one whose mental uh, faculty is functioning very well. Mm -hmm. That he understands the implications of what he's doing. He or she understands what, what is risks, meant. Yeah. He, he understands the risk involved and the benefit. And when he lets some, because in a, when you are involved in a contract of sale, uh, in, the ac in actual fact, you are letting something that you own out of your hands in exchange for something else coming in. Yeah. So you must be able to understand the consequences and the implications of this, whether you are mature or you are not mature. Mm -hmm. So before the buyer let his money go out of his hand, and before the seller let his subject of sale or object of sale li let out of his or her hand, they must be sane people. They, 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 they ment must be mentally uh, sound, mm -hmm. you understand? They must be sound-minded. Mm -hmm. That's for both of them. And number two is mm -hmm. the, the what you sell, must be your own, must be your property. It must belong to you. Okay. You understand? If you are selling, the subject of sale, that's ownership. The subject of sale or the object of sale or the object that you are selling must belong to you. And the price that the other party is giving must belong to him or to her. But somebody, somebody who steals a p somebody else's property and goes and sells it in the market, that, sell, that transaction is invalid in Islamic law because he or she is selling something that doesn't belong to him. Similarly, somebody who steals money goes to the market and buys something, even though the person who sells the, 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 the commodity to him is selling his own commodity. But because the price is a stolen money, again, then the money he has given doesn't belong to him, and therefore the sale is not valid. So in mm. other words, both parties, both parties must be the lawful owners of the concentrations, what they're exchanging. The money that you are giving for the commodity must belong to you. The commodity that's being given for you must belong to the to the to the to the, to the seller. Mm -hmm. That's the, this condition also is extremely important. 
And also, uh, 